It's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, maybe you dropped by from Mika's channel. Welcome, I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've been watching me for a minute, what's up? What's good? And welcome back. So today I'm here with a brand new unit by Sensational. I think some of you have seen that Sensational dropped their new butter butter lace line, right? And they have butter one, two, and three. I copped butter one. Also today, I am collaborating with my boo, Wigs the Wasteland, Mika. Hey girl. <laughs> oh my goodness, I admire Mika so much. I've been watching her for a few years now and literally she was my go-to person when I wanted to see someone in a wig in color who was of my complexion. That representation has always meant so much to me. So the fact that we've become cool throughout my journey is like, okay. Yes! <laughs> if you're not familiar with Mika, she does a slew of wig reviews. She's very thorough and keeps it all the way real. And I think this video is fitting because this is a bob and Mika knows how to slay a bob. She did this one bob from Vanessa Hair. Oh my God, I ordered several of them because of her. So get familiar with my girl. Make sure you check out her channel down in the description box. I'll leave it there and see how she does this wig that I'm wearing justice. And I believe she got them in two colors. All right, let's dive right into today's video. Now, just to catch some of you up who may not know, Sensational originally came out with a line called the Wet Lace Line and it was all about having a very seamless pre-plucked hairline. A lot of people review the wet lace units, including myself, but since then they've now come out with butter lace, which is supposed to be virtually undetectable HD lace. I'm sure y'all have seen a lot of synthetic wigs hopping on the whole HD lace trend. I have my thoughts about it, but we'll get into it in this video. So let's just get into the specs of the butter unit one. I do have her in the money piece hazel color. She does come as a right side part, and this is a pre-teased part that goes back five inches so it stops like around here near the crown and the stock card here tells you everything about the wig it says that it's virtually undetectable hd lace it's ear to ear lace it's pre-plucked with baby hair has a natural density hairline and it's supposed to blend with most skin tones and look they go even further by saying hey this is normal lace and this is butter lace <laughs> Okay, sensational, if you say so. So that's what we're dealing with today. Let me give you a quick 360 of this unit. All right, y'all, let's just dive into my thoughts on Butter One, starting with the pros. So I would say the first pro to this unit after you know applying her and everything, I would say the color is a pro. To a certain extent, I do really like the way they blended this hazel color here. And I like that this is a number four going into the hazel color. Some people aren't a fan of longer dark roots, but I am. And so I think this is very pretty. Now, when it comes to the money piece part, where it's like this strip here, um, I can take it or leave it. I actually prefer the way it looks here. I think this looks way more blended. But this strip right here, I don't know. I'm not really feeling that. I feel like it's not blended well I keep going like this thinking it's gonna blend the, the thing and i'm like no gladys it's it's colored the way it is so i like the color but i think they could have done well with the blending of it another process unit is the cap size i have a medium sized head and when i put this on without adjusting the straps it came across very roomy so i was like okay my friends with larger size heads maybe 22 and a half 23 inches or more, you should feel secure with this wig. Another pro to this unit, I would say, is the lace. Ever since the HD lace has come out for different synthetic wigs, I've been trying them and I always have a hard time. However, with this HD lace, it wasn't difficult to blend at all. Like, look here, you can see that all I did was apply the bedhead free spray and then apply my foundation that I use just for blending lace and it's blending very seamlessly. So I'm happy with 
the lace that they used for this unit. I was a little concerned because it's light, but I was able to blend it down perfectly. So as far as mimicking the way HD lace is on a human hair unit, I think it's mimicking it fairly well. Another pro is definitely the way they do this pre-plug parting space. It looks very natural to me. It lays very flat. It's actually giving me vibes from Outre's Mel Melted Hairline series. Like this is the same concept, you know, having a lace front wig that melts like a frontal. So I feel like maybe this is Sensational's response to Outre's melted hairline. All right, y'all, let's just get into the cons, okay? The main con to this unit is the, is the texture. I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to have this conversation about Sensational when it comes to their fibers that they choose to use on certain units. I have a whole video where I was ranting slash discussing how I felt about fibers on the wet lace units and how I felt it just didn't match up with the price point. And honestly, it's very inconsistent. These fibers right here for butter lace, which is like wet lace's little sister, they, they're so silky. To me, it's like what you would find on cheap $20 synthetic units, like almost like baby doll hair. I'm not... I'm not feeling that. And those of you who are familiar with my channel know how much texture is important to me. And I just don't think that if you have all these advancements you're trying to do to your synthetic wigs to make them mimic human hair as much as possible, you have this hairline that does look nice. You have the quote unquote HD lace that is actually blending into my dark skin very well. But you put these fibers? Like really sensational? This is what you chose to put on this 40 45 dollar unit mind you i paid 37.50 on hair stop and shop but wig types for this color it's 44 45 dollars so it's like okay i get that i'm paying for the advancements but what do, what does all that matter if you're going to give me fibers that are just they feel like this like come on now i understand that some people like silky hair I don't like silky synthetic hair whatsoever. I can tolerate silky hair on synthetic wigs when it's like a, a barrel curl or some type of curl swoop action going on. I can tolerate that. But when it's just silky straight and falling flat like this, no. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm really disappointed by that. Especially since I don't normally gravitate towards this type of bob style. I'm not an angular bob kind of person. That's why I did cut it in the front because I wanted to make it look a little more even, but still kind of give off the effect it was originally going for, because the way it was before was just a little bit too much angle for me. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like on camera it looks nice, but when I touch it, it's just falling flat on the face to me. I I'm just not impressed with this texture at all. And the thing about it is, Sensational has one of the best textures I've ever tried. You wanna know where it's from? Check out their um, Supermodel series. Sensational Suniva, for example, from their Supermodel series a few years ago. That texture, it's a human hair blend, mind you. Best, probably one of the best textures I've seen tried on a synthetic wig. If you've tried it, sound off below and let me know, but hands down. You know what I'm saying? So if you can produce that on a synthetic wig, and I'm not saying all your wigs have to be human hair blend, but for the ones that are of a higher price point, can we get on that wave? Like, can we get on the human hair blend wave? Because this right here is not it. Or at least put a little bit of yackiness into it. Let me tell you, I can give you several other bobs that have a better texture than this one that just came out like yesterday. Model Model Ebony. Bomb. I paid $13 for that bob. Free Trust Equal Hania. I'm so excited. Play Out Tuesdays is on and popping. Yes. Under $20. Came out like five years ago. Bomb. Yaki texture. I just reviewed that like last week. Altre Rowena. I think that was like $19, $20. It's a little bit thinner. Very nice texture as well. Super easy, beginner friendly. I just named three bobs off the top of my head that I reviewed that feel better than this right here on my head. And they don't necessarily have all the bells and whistles, but they look and feel very natural and they're easier. So I just, uh, 
I told y'all the pros and that, you know, the pros still stand in my opinion. I just feel like because texture weighs so heavily, in my opinion, on a wig, it's just like, like I wouldn't buy this again. Would I recommend it to you guys to buy? No. Yes, all of this looks good, but nah. And I also was catching snags on this wig too. And it's a short wig, why am I catching snags? You feel what I'm saying? That's related to the fibers that they're using. That's how I feel about that. I also ordered the Butter 2 unit. I'm not really excited about it now that I've reviewed this. Although I did see Queen the Mindset review it. Like I was looking at the lace and I was like, okay, we can make something work. But if it feels like this, I'm gonna be upset. But we'll see, stay tuned. All right, y'all, please let me know how you feel about Butter One in the comments down below. How do you feel about the color, the style, the texture? Let me know. Again, with the style, I did snip some of it at the ends because I prefer a more even bob. I don't like an extreme angle, but that is all up to personal preference. Are you gonna try this bob? Let me know. And remember, check out Wigs to Waist Length. I'm sure she's gonna have a lot of things to say about this unit, and I cannot wait to watch her review. So go show my girl some love, and tell her that Gladys sent you. Is that your hair? <laughs> tell her that I sent you, okay? Also, if you are new here, and if you like what you see, tap that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and also hit the notification bell. I did recently reach 10,000 subscribers, Woohoo! So I am having a giveaway video. Look out for that. It should be released within the next week or so. Thank you for your patience. And if you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out to the right of me. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.